Hi, my name is Olola Body. I'm passionate about stirring you up to live the dreams God has put in your heart and helping you fulfill your purpose. Today, I want to start off by asking you a question. And the question is, can you dare to dream? You might add in this season, in the midst of this crisis, yes, in the midst of this crisis, can you dare to dream? Can you dare to trust God? That is what I'm talking about today. You know, a couple of years ago, I remember God saying to me, I remember I was at work, and one day God just said to me that, why do you let people keep stopping you? from doing all I've called you to do? Why do you let people keep stopping you from achieving everything I've put on the inside of you? And I remember that got me thinking, this is years ago. That was before I wrote this book. This, that actually led to me writing this book, Dream Big, Live Your Dreams, No Limitations Allowed, because God began to stir me up to live every dream he has put on the inside of me. And so today, my challenge to you is, even in the midst of this season, I know at that time that I was, that God stirred me up, it was a season that was a hard season for me, it seemed at the time. But God did not look at the circumstances I was in, He just began to stir me up. I said, you know what, it's time to dream big. And as I began to, the more, I, as I went back to the drawing book, the more I thought about it, the more this book came alive. And I began to I started to do the things that God had put on the inside of me to do. And so, you know, this week as I began to say, Lord, what, I, what do I share? He just brought that thing back to me again that even in this season that looks like a crisis, in a crisis season, there are opportunities and there are some people see it as problems, some people see it as opportunities. What are you going to bring out of this season? So my challenge to you is, are you going to dare to dream? You know, I want to read to you from the Word of God, Amplified Version, Ephesians 3 verse 20. He says, now to him that is able to carry out his purpose and do super abundantly more than we dare ask or think, infinitely beyond our greatest prayers, hopes, or dreams, according to his power that is at work within us. Are you going to dare to dream? Are you going to dare to trust God? There is a dream that I've been carrying in my heart, you know, for, the, for I was sharing with my husband for about eight years. Every year I would put it on my dream, but as a dream that I had in my heart. In about, I, I, about two weeks ago, God actually brought it to pass. And I just looked back and I said, Lord, is this how you do things? Which means I didn't really, at the time, you know, eight years ago, it looked like it wasn't possible. Six years ago, ago, it looked like it wasn't possible. But I've carried this in my heart and I've just believed that God was able to do it. And you know what? This, the last two weeks, he brought it to pass. And I just, all I just was, I just said, thank God. But the thing is, I've carried that dream. I dared to dream, I didn't know how. And so my thing to you today is, you might not know how God is gonna bring it to pass. You don't even need to know how, but you can trust him that he's able to bring it to pass. A few tips I wanna share with you with daring to dream. When you dare to dream, what you're saying is, God, I'm going to believe you. So the first thing I believe we have to do is renew your mind. The Bible says in Romans 12 too that, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Be ye transformed. We become transformed by renewing our mind. Renew your mind with the word of God. To dream big. Renew your mind to think the way God thinks. Renew your mind to think the way he thinks, the way his thoughts are, the, his thoughts for you, you renew your mind as you, as, you, as you look into his word. He begins to expand your thinking. He begins to increase your capacity to think big. The second thing I want to share with you is stretch your thinking. How do we stretch our thinking? Read. Read wide. Read in your current field. Get the abreast of the facts of what is going on in your chosen field. Read wide. Read on things that you want to do. Study people that are doing what you want to do. And you know, and you do that by reading. As you read about them, your capacity is increased to think beyond where you are right now. The third thing I want to share is be willing to take action. Whatever dream God has put on the inside of you, you have to be willing. And these actions can be baby steps. Just start with those baby steps. My baby steps in bringing that dream God put in my heart to pass was putting on my vision board, praying over it, speaking over it, until now that he has brought the past and you know you can't you have to you have to take action god can do that for you you have to take the actions of doing whatever he's led you to do and the fourth thing i want to share is learn to trust him 
when God told Abraham he's going to be the father of nations, he did not understand how that was going to happen. But God brought him outside and he showed him the stars. And he said, as long as you see the stars, believe that I'm going to bring it to pass. I'm going to bring those children to you. And I believe every time Abraham doubted it, he just had to go outside and look and say, God said he was going to bring it to pass. And did he bring it to pass? Yes, he did. And so Abraham didn't know how, but he just trusted God. So my thing to you today is dare to dream. You have to dream. If you're able to dream in, God is able to bring it to pass. Your part is to begin to believe him. Renew your mind. Stretch your mind. Take action and trust him. And he will bring those dreams to pass in your life. So it's time to go back to the drawing board. Go get those dreams out. You might have tossed them. You might have put them on the shelf. Go get them out and begin to run with them again. If you haven't connected with me yet, please do on oluolabody.com, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. There you will also get other faith-building motivational messages. And don't forget, I'm still giving away a digital copy of my book, Dream Big. Please, please, if you read it and it blesses you, Please let me know your feedback. I would love it to bless you. Have an awesome week ahead. See you again next week.